Welcome back to Starbound, everybody. I am your host, Monster Gods, and we are continuing exactly where we left off. We just ate some food, and now we're heading back up to the ship. So, all my plans got derailed because I kept getting distracted doing different things, and then I found the cool new little gothic stuff, so that kind of messed up what I was doing. Um, what I actually want to do is, first of all, put my stuff in the right areas. We have the the good gun. Actually, I should I should reorganize this. Actually, put that the gun there. Yeah, there we go. Um, then the faster gun down this way. Oh, actually, I like having my flashlight on two though. Actually, maybe I could do it on three. Yeah, there we go. Instead of the no, actually, I like that the flashlight being there, and I like that pistol being there. So what we're going to do is put my big gun there. Med pack will be on five with the little fire gun. And then what am I missing? The... Huh. I don't think I'm actually missing anything specific. Um... No, I think that's actually everything. Yeah. Gun, that, that. Oh, I have an empty slot for the whatchamacallers. Um, what the hell are those called? Oh, the steps. Because I like, I like always having steps on me, platforms. Um, there they are. Perfect. See? Even my game knows. Um, meow, 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 meow. I'm going to head. Do I, did I grab the tech things or no? I did grab the tech things. Okay, so I grabbed the tech things, so I'm going to go back to the um, outpost quick like. Because I want to buy some of the new techs. Um, I don't like the dash that's on the ground. I find it actually completely useless because it doesn't make anything faster, really. In, in fact, I feel like I slow down more than anything. So I'm going to see... Ooh, blink dash, what's that? <coughs> dash that blinks past traps and enemies. Interesting. Replace the dash with a sprint. A dash that can be used in the air. That's what we're talking about. That's what I want. So let's see how how well that works. Because... Okay, that was weird. That's what I want, right there. Yep, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. That's the useful one. Um, okay, so... Double check. Yep. Um, so I'm actually going to head back to the, um... The other place. Yep. The place with the things and stuff. The new colony. Because I want to see if I can get my cultist now because I actually have another colony deed. I only have the one, so <coughs> I'm not going to bring anything else. So I think I'm just going to go and try that. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But it should work. So that's what I'm banking on. The, I have all the stuff that I should have need over here, so there shouldn't need to be anything more. Boop. Who the hell? A glitch king? Why is there a... Disappointed. I'm used to living... Dude, what the hell? No, get out of here. Try this again. <sighs> okay, so it seems like because all this stuff is glitch, it's overriding the basic instinct of what it's supposed to be. So that does mean I need to put floor and stuff down as well. So that is good to know because. I do have some floor and stuff. So it looks like I need to make it so it's like equal, which I don't understand how I'm going to do that because there are no items that are just 
considered evil and not like glitch too. Um, I might have to look that up for next time. I think I'm just going to stop messing around with it for now because I've spent like several episodes doing that and at this point it's just getting to be excessive. Um, yeah, I'm going to do something else. Um, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore. Actually I'm going to get some more fuel. So let's do that. We're going to try mining without... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Do I have... Um, yeah, I have some stuff. Okay, what I'm going to try doing is mining and not picking up fuel right now and seeing if that monster still comes. <coughs> if that monster does not come, then I can set up some mines without worrying about the sketchy dude. Whoa, meteor? Whoa, they blow up. That's cool. That's actually really cool. I think that's a pretty awesome idea. So I'm kind of just going to bounce around. And actually, well, you know, actually I can start setting up stuff up now. Set up a little pathway so it's like lit up and everything so I don't get myself killed. In the future. Is that the liquid fuel? Oh my god, if that's the liquid fuel, that is amazing. Because, as far as I can tell, that would be... Okay, I, need, I really need to upgrade my matter manipulator. And I just remembered that I actually have a thing to do that at home. At our base. Not base. On our ship. We have the um, extras. What is down there? It's a really far drop. Um, so... Works for me. Um, let's see here. Do some of this. Oh, just barely. Yeah. Okay, so that's plenty good right there. Yep. I totally forgot that I can jump like super super high so I don't actually need like a lot of the stuff yeah like that but we're gonna put it there anyways just for convenience sake alright so my goal here actually is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually mine from way lower down in the ground I'll leave this stuff as like a last resort like if I need it in like an emergency and I'm actually going to mine down here where you know it's a little bit more difficult to get to um, granted it's not that much more difficult to get to currently because of the whole moon gravity and stuff put some platforms just in case it's always good to have platforms. Oh shit, this is... Oh, I got rid of my... Oh. So you don't take falling damage at all on the moon, apparently. Like, that was a huge fall. Good to know. Um, how far can I double jump? So we're going to do one of these. Just because I want some torches up here. Double jump. So if you guys haven't noticed, I like taking things kind of like cautious and safe when I do stuff like this. And the reason for it is if something is after me, I want it to be really, really quick. Like I don't care what I'm doing. I want to be able to drop stuff off and just get out of there. I do stuff like that, like jump one direction, play something, then jump back, hoping I get back, <laughs> which is extremely reckless. Okay, so looks like this is a good spot. I'm going to take it from this area first and hope that ghost thing comes slowly. The big thing I'm honestly worried about is that he's going to come from like above. I hope that he comes from like down below. 
Or on the side. If it comes from the side, that wouldn't be bad either. I just don't want to... Yep, okay, it's in the bottom. Perfect. From the bottom is not a problem. Can I just jump up? And we're pretty much good. So, I think we'll take this stuff just because... Currently, I do need fuel, so... <coughs> um... Not an emergency, but this is way easier than anything else, so. Alright, liquid fuel. Ow. <clears throat> See, I have no idea how much damage that thing does either. Like, for all I know, that thing could do, like, an insane amount of damage. Like, he could, maybe he one-shots me. I honestly have no idea, which... That honestly wouldn't surprise me in this kind of game. Because he is, like, a... His own special little thing, so... Okay, so we're gonna... Kinda lower this a little bit. Oh, that was more than I wanted to, but... It is what it is. Okay, so how much do I got fuel-wise? I got 97 of that fuel, 88 of that one. That should be plenty good. Cool. So, let's see how much that fuels us up. So the 88 does, I think, exactly what it's supposed to. 97 does like double. So it seems like the crystals are definitely better. But that's fine. Um, what I should do actually is I should mine a moon that I don't know about, like that I don't use. But whatever. Um, I kind of want to explore something else, honestly. We've been doing a lot of the. Ooh, radioactive star. Temperate. Okay, actually, I take that back. Um, I forgot we actually need to find more of the fish people stuff, so. I just, wait, I, hold on. I'm dumb. I'm being really dumb. I totally forgot I have fish. I could actually like, get a merchant and have them place stuff down. Nope, that might not work. Sorry. <laughs> I'm done jumping back and forth now. We're going to find an ocean planet over here. Maybe. Oh, this is the planet that doesn't. Uh, this is the star that doesn't have any ocean planets, isn't it? Yeah. Nope. Oh, there we go. Perfect. 132 fuel. That is perfect. Um. Let's see here. What did I pick? Did I, did I pick up anything I don't need? Just want to make sure. Oh, yeah. I got random. Um. Landscape stuff. Rocks. Oh, actually, I had some of that stuff already. I should build something out of that, actually. I wonder if I can build, like, neat ones. Oh, sorry for going silent there for a second. I just had, like, a sneeze attack. So, I think I need a new costume, actually, looking at this. Yeah. I definitely need a new costume. What's that helmet look like? Actually, that kind of looks cool. Let me see. Oops. Not what I meant. That one. Yeah. Let's see what I look like without my, like... I look fucking ridiculous, actually. <laughs> uh, how about like that? Yeah, that's not bad. What's that new chest piece? Do I have a new chest piece? Actually, what about those boots? I like those. What's that? Predatory? Hey, actually, yeah, I kind of like that, actually. Um. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll go with that stuff for now. I'm gonna drop off the... Nope, um. Alright. 
Ocean planet? Here we go. Oh, interesting. Is that a vendor right off the bat? Um, cool. Okay, um... That's kind of cool, actually. So, her chest piece is 25, 12... 25, 12, 5, 5. Yep, same as mine. Um, anything I can scan? Yeah! Uh -huh. Right off the bat, I got one more item. So it looks like I only need, like, one more new item. Dang it, I forgot to upgrade my freaking thing again. I'm gonna do that first. Sorry. <sighs> I'm doing this thing where I'm jumping back and forth again because I keep screwing stuff up. I have matter things. Yes, that, 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 upgrade. There. That's all I needed to do. That upgrade, I upgraded the optics, which means I can do my matter manipulator further away, like down here now. Boop. Instead of like up here. Is that hostile? No? Okay. Seems to be friendly. Good. Not used to that. Oh, that guy's gonna be a dick. He just looks like a dick. No? Yep. Whoa, what is that? That is so cool! That is definitely one of the coolest abilities I've seen so far. I might have to actually get, grab a capture pod and grab one of those guys, because that is pretty awesome. I like that. <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, okay, so looks like all these guys are hostile. Um, crap! I want to actually explore this island before I go down into the water. Oh, nice. I actually managed to kill him before he killed me. Come on, blue guys, you good? Okay, you're good. How about you? Okay, so... No, I know you're a dick, because you shoot the puff clouds, yeah. <laughs> okay. So one thing I did notice about this, which is something I kind of enjoy, is... Um, most of the monsters in this game now have a general type. So, for instance, those big lava guys that shoot off the things, they will always be evil. So even if they're on a different planet, they're still going to be evil and, well, predatory. They'll attack me. Hostile is what I meant to say. Not evil. Um, so he'll attack me no matter what planet I'm on. Um, previously, the... Ooh, a turtle! Um, they could look the same, but be friendly on a different planet. So that's no longer the case. Which I'm fine with, it's just good to know. The more important thing though is that uh, it used to be kind of random and that was kind of, that was actually kind of cool honestly because then you had kind of a random mix to it. It's like that guy will be hostile I bet because, uh, well maybe I just didn't get close enough, but um, the there was a random aspect to all the monsters that spawned, which actually was probably one of the coolest things about this game is that everything was procedural, so it randomly generated every planet you went to. But I think they got rid of that because it caused too many problems, which I'm completely in agreement with. I saw like a lot of random little problems that came from it that it just it was not worth having. Like I've seen like those fire guys for instance, they'd have like a dash attack or something really random like that. Or there'd be just too much randomness with the uh, what they looked like and what their powers were and it made them really unpredictable which I guess for some was probably awesome but I'm more in the realm of I like things to look kinda consistent or be a little more consistent I love random and procedurally generated stuff but I think there's a limit to its actual usefulness so there's a chest down here which we'll go get stupid med pack which is like useless I don't like when I get med like med packs and like chests and that because it's a huge waste I think
think it could have been used for something different and something I actually wanted. <laughs> One thing I wish they would add back in is the ability to use my flashlight and um, matter manipulator at the same time. Not being able to use my flashlight while looking around with my matter manipulator is kind of annoying. Looks like I have to pull my flashlight, look around, then do the matter manipulator. But I guess matter manipulator is a two-handed item, so... Let's, whoa! I thought they were going to attack me for a second. They like ran right towards me. That was strange. Well, like, seriously, water balloons? I feel like this game is messing with me. We've gotten a lot of really random items. So my hope is that I can run into another one of those underground places or a new one. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I bet I should be on the surface right now. Because I bet with that big place that I ran into, I bet you that was all the underground um, underwater items. I bet it's all above ground stuff now that I actually need to scan. Hmm. I didn't even think about that. That was kind of dumb on my part. Probably down here for no good reason. What's that? A drill? Huh. Temporary alternative to the matter. Interesting. I wonder how good the gr drill is. Let's use it. Let's find out. Is it a one handed item? Nope, naturally it's a two handed item. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, Madam Replay is just as fast. It's fast, so I mean that's definitely impressive how fast that is. But Madam Manipulator is faster. I suppose. Maybe if you don't have it upgraded as much as I do. Because I've done a lot of exploring compared to where you're probably supposed to be at this point. I've traveled several planets that they weren't expecting to. Me too. Okay. So I've been down here for a while. I've gone to the left quite a ways. So I'm actually going to swim up here in a minute. I'm just going to do quick little looksies. Yeah, and that's why. It seems like there's like, I wouldn't call it a pattern, but like a system to how they do um, objects underwater. It might even be this way above ground too, where after a certain distance they have something, even if it's not like an item, just something. More water balloons, yeah, it's not worth it. Okay, so we're gonna swim up with the. I did something, I switched tabs somehow. I don't even know how I did that. Ooh, I hear thunderstorms, it sounds like. Not like in game, I mean, not in. Yeah. Yeah, there's a storm. Cool. Well, I wonder if they, they can have like really harsh weather on these, because they're like islands. That bird is gonna try and kill me even though I'm like swimming. Okay, bird. Chill your shit. See, I used to love the da like the dash like that because you used to be able to do it like constantly until you ran out of um, stamina. And that was probably the best time for this game because you literally just like dash across like a planet top and save yourself a lot of effort. There we are. Another island. Back to off, bird. No! I didn't mean to do that. Piss off. Haha. <laughs> Well, that island was useless. 
So I'm thinking they want you to buy a boat, which is completely reasonable on their part for an ocean planet. That's why they have them, like the islands, separated so far, which I'm okay with. The the way they have it set up is really cool. Cause like if you bought a boat right now, that'd, just, that'd be really useful actually. It's not like just like a waste of money. Although, I'm not gonna lie, right now it seems like this entire island system is kind of goofy. Because there seems to ever only be the, uh, the people on the starting islands and then nothing else. Which maybe I've just gotten unlucky, but... Yeah, I can see it's just monsters on all these other islands. Maybe I... Maybe like my guy lands on like the most populated island. something good what is that time pierce time wait what time stuff hold on how much damage does that thing do 23 that does more than mine I think too yeah okay let's see what that is oh <laughs> that fucking looks awesome oh my god is that a two-handed or one-handed two-handed oh my god that looks so cool Wait, can I like legitimately stop time? I'm really curious how this thing works. I don't even care, this thing looks awesome, I'm using this. Yeah, so it doesn't look like I have enough stamina for that. So it looks like I need more stamina before I can actually use that power. I'm just fine. Nope, back off. Actually, this thing has kind of a lame knockback, though. So... But it's got the arc, which is... really important. The arc of the swing is very helpful. Hmm. Alright, so we'll look for one more island. After one more island, we'll call it good on this planet and try a new one. And from the looks of it, it seems like each um, ocean planet you go to, there only seems to be people on the first island you go to, and then after that it seems like it's just monsters. Oh, speaking of, I lied. Right as I say that. <laughs> Hello, friend. New stuff to scan. Um, I'm confused. No! Guard, help! Yeah, good. Oh no. No! Come on, don't be stupid. Woo! Then <laughs> it starts playing the bongos. Oh, people. Okay, um... Yeah, I mean, that's... Literally everything I could find. I don't know what else I could possibly be scanning. Ah, shit. So... Oh, hold on, let me talk to these people, see if they have anything. And it seems... Refuge in po poetry. Okay, so you're useless. Alright. Well, I think we're going to call that an episode. Um, I will search one more island just because I like doing that. <laughs> but we'll do that next time. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. <laughs>